Welcome back to Milan Dragway for another PYOP, except this one's different. This is a World Series of No Prep event. And I'm telling you guys right now, this is the biggest small tire field I have ever filled. All of the killers are here. There's 69 cars in small tire. 69 cars! This is going to be a long video, <laughs> but well worth the watch. Uh, I do want to show you something about the start line, because they did some changes. There's going to be an interesting dynamic. And I want to show you, I want to show you this thing right here that's pretty cool we'll talk to him in a second but uh yeah 69 cars guys this is going to be one wild event oriole and puddle is always a wild event like you see my past videos it's been pretty crazy here every time but uh today's special today's gonna be a good one so but uh let's go talk to austin real quick and then it's uh, off the first round for small tire here at pyop in Milan. 69 cars guys this is gonna be huge huge field today tons of canadians here it's gonna be good all right let's do it Austin back at PYOP. I noticed you have a new car today. Um, yep. So little, little heavy was the car we saw last in the last video. Um, you have this is a different RX-7. You said? Yeah. Yep. We uh, we built the twin car, and once we built the twin car, the stuff we changed on it worked. So then we decided to build another car, and we built that, and then we changed a lot on it. So I'm still figuring it out, but <laughs> it seems to work halfway decent for now. All right. What's the name of this car? Little Rusty. Little Rusty, yeah. of course. Um, okay, what's the setup on the, the little rusty RX-7? Uh, it's the same setup out of my old car, a little heavy. We just put uh, twin 78s in the back of it versus we had Ford Performance 72s last time. So oh, okay. It makes a little more power and then we switched to methanol instead of E85. Ah, methanol, okay. Different turbos. But the engine is 5.3 block? Or? Yeah, 5.3. Okay. Yep, just aluminum 5.3 in it. Alright, alright. Uh, how much data do you have it with that, this car here at Milan? Uh, High passes probably. Okay. Yeah, not near as many as the old car. Yeah, the old car you're a regular here, but yeah. So okay. So do you have a tune up for this surface right now? I noticed they moved the starting line again. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't have a tune up for it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of shooting in the dark still because we don't really race on stuff. It's usually this fast. So nice, nice. We're gonna put it all in and see what it holds. So. Okay. Well, that's a wild turbo kit you got on there, man. I love how you got them sticking up the side. So, right. Uh, we tried to do something a little different. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you fabricated all that stuff yourself, like everything? Yeah, yeah, me and Chase, uh, he works with me at the shop. We got a shop down in Indiana, so. Oh, what's the shop? Uh, Shepard Five Performance. We do build race car wiring, all that stuff too. Nice, So nice. Yeah, we did, the, the customer stuff's a lot nicer than we do on our own, so <laughs> we just throw our own stuff together pretty quick. Just beat on it, whatever, right? Yeah. yeah Experiment, whatever works, it. and then you could sell that. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, okay. that's like the rusty car. It was a super clean car, and we actually made it that way. But paint, <laughs> it's actually a paint. It's not even like... Oh, really? I sanded it down to rust. It's an uh, actual uh, paint. Roll on with a house roller. Nice. Yeah. Well, it looks rusty as hell, so yeah. <laughs> it came out nice. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, well, good luck in small tire today. Right. Thank you, buddy. All right, thanks a lot. All right, out here with Aaron at uh, PYOP, buddy. I've seen this uh, MR2 go rounds in the last couple of events that I filmed. Yep. And I got to say, this is a badass car. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the setup? Uh, it's uh, your, your standard LS. <laughs> of course. Uh, obviously, motor's in the front, uh, not the back. Um, right. It's a twin turbo setup with a turbo 400 pushing it. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah, because these cars are originally rear engine. Um, yep. What did it take to get the engine in the front? A lot of ingenuity. <laughs> like drive shaft and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. I uh, basically got a, I mean, it's still got the, the stock um, strut towers, everything else to the car, stock back frame. So basically, pretty much what I did is I, I hacked it off in front of the strut towers, hacked it off where the back uh, frame goes, okay. and put a four link setup in it with uh, bars Ooh. going in the back and pretty much a, a 25.5 setup cage without the bird cage in it. So, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, just. I like being different than everybody else. So <laughs> no, absolutely. Like yeah. first time I saw the car and I saw the the intake sticking out of the hood, I'm like, wait a minute. How yeah. Did, how did he get that in there? Oh yeah. But <laughs> I got another one of these at home. I got a one that's actually a mid-engine car that oh, yeah. I was hoping to get out today, but that didn't work out. So mid-engine is it the MR2 motor? Uh, no, it's got an SRT4 
engine oh, in it. Yep. That motor. Yep. That's a two liter, right? Uh, yeah, it's two four. Oh, two four. Yep. Sorry, yeah, it's been a while since I see one of those. Uh, I messed up the uh, last time I was here. That was a year ago. So I've been sitting. I've been kind of pushing that one off to the side and uh, playing with this one. This one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just got the motors at the machine shop, and I was hoping to get it back out today. And that car, that motor, put down a thousand horsepower at seven hundred seventy six torque. The two point four liter. Yep. Wow. Yep. Crazy. So, it's a banger car, stick shift. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, I love it. That's so. great. Um, okay, so how big's the block on the LS over here? Uh, just your standard uh, 5.3 LS. 5.3? Yep, just All 420 right. over. So Single turbo it. twin? Uh, twin setup. It's uh, 70, 75s. Oh, okay. That's what it's got on it. Nice. Um, and then uh, obviously tick performance intercooler setup. Um, I mean, your basic stuff. So basically aluminum block. Nice. So car itself uh, weighs without any bias in it, uh, 23.17 without me in it. <laughs> That's nothing. So. That's a Honda Civic. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yep, yep. Nice, nice. So, just got to gotta learn to mess around with it and start taking some weight out and see if I can get to go faster and faster. Right on. So you're running small tire today. There's a lot of fast cars on the property. You got a lot of data here at Milan, so yep. uh, I feel like you guys are... Uh, oh yeah, we, we, we have some tunes that should go right down sad. first round. So. Yes. All right, well, good luck uh, first round small tire, right? All right, appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right, guys, we got an interesting change today. If you look over here in our last two videos, we were uh, the starting line was right here. You see these two lines, there's no line up there. They usually move the starting line forward um, whenever they do a new event. But here at PYOP, I like to get creative. And uh, what they've done is they move the starting line back, but the burnout box is still in the same spot. So the distance between the starting line and the burnout box is significant, significantly smaller, which should give us a new dynamic here let's pour your own puddle these guys are using glue not water there's no water here so pour your own puddle there's traction compound and I think we're gonna get see more of that on the start line which means we're probably gonna see some wheelies today so stay tuned for a hot starting line today guys a couple oh, of hot and we got wallies on the line today guys check it out so four classes getting wallies and all the other classes get these cool trophies huge pot today over Grand and small tire and a Wally. It's pretty awesome. Right here at PYOB. Alright, guys, listen up. Can you hear me? Megan, how many small tire now? There are 69 small tire cars. 69 small tire cars. This is an eight mile race. You Stage by the bumper, you win by the bumper. We go off of our cameras, our cameras only. One burnout. A burnout is considered when smoke comes from the tires, but you will not come up here and continue to dry hop the car. We will back you up and DQ you. Everything is pretty straightforward here. We don't mess around at the line. We're not, if, if it takes you, if, if your car doesn't take long to stage, let the other car get up there, do his burnout stage, get ready to stage, start doing your burnout. If your car takes forever, get up there and get done. We're not waiting. You're not holding anybody up. With this many cars, we want to get done tonight. We want to get done tonight. This is a flashlight start race. We go off of a flashlight. It does have a black background, so you will be able to see it. There should be no reflection off of this. We'll have a guy at the finish line. He will signal to us or radio down to us who has one. There is a guy at the very top end, a Milan Dragway official. When you come through the staging lanes at the top end up there, slow down. He's going to make sure nothing's leaking so you don't drag it through the pits and all the way back here. You cannot use water in the burnout box. It is a traction compound only. Stripper glitter is on site with a bunch of glitter. We got a couple different things over here. Um, they're about half full or a quarter way full. We let you guys use them. Just bring it back up here so the next guy if he doesn't have anything. Rules, these are the, so everybody keeps saying all wheel drive and small tire and stuff. This is the World Series and no prep rules. This is our only date of the year for it. After this, we go back to our normal program. Um, if you raced at Uncaged last weekend or two weekends ago, these are the same rule sets from there. How's everybody doing? Good? Good, good, everybody hear me? Good? A lot of faces I ain't never seen before, so make sure you pay attention. Uh, get five seconds when you're on the line I'm gonna come up to your guy make sure you want to come in first or second I'll ask him I'll ask it every round if you want to bump I'm gonna ask every round let me know and we'll make sure you get taken care of 
I don't run, I don't jump. I stand in one spot. Once you guys are on the line and the light stays above my head, I'll point to you and give you five to seven seconds to get ready. If your car takes a long time, like he said, come in a little earlier. Before I point to you, put your foot to the floor. Once you nodded your head or the guy standing next to you not blocking the tire crack cam gives me a thumbs up, I'll go to the other guy. Give him his five to seven. Once both guys have given me the acknowledgement that they're ready, the light comes on. Any questions? Because there's a lot of faces here that haven't gone off my light at all, and you'll lose the race on the light. Any questions? Anybody? What's that? Burn out through the line. You can burn out to the cone if you want. Ethan, the number one gambler out here at PYOP. Hey, we're trying, we're trying. already got your money in the air, we're hasn't trying. even started yet. Easy first bets this round. All right, who's, who's first round? Tell me who it is. We got Austin Shepard versus a duck. Hey, this road's open for this guy. <laughs> a media today. I got 100 on head. <laughs> uh, no thank you. I got 100 on right lane right now. 100 on right? Dude, that fixed ass quarter, is it heads again? I'm crying. Is it heads again? No, it's, look at Chuck. Chuck's got a fake quarter. Heads. He plays uh, quarters with nine. Uh, oh, there's no eagle. What is it? No eagle head? I have no eagle, so I guess it's a not a fair bet. Hold on. You want me to take the other side? Now we're even. Big quarter. Big quarter. I bet you it's a tails. Oh, he drops it. He goes tails. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, here we go. Round one. Small tire here at Detroit NTV's PYOP at Milan Dragway.
want a taxi. That big block thing just powered. It's going up against our new friend in that LS Twin Turbo MR2. Talked to him earlier.
Great lane, Trevor got him.
Ryan White in that twin turbo LS Mustang. He won the last two EYOBs. Let's see what he's got today.
That GTR is flying. That plane.
Left wing. playing. All right, here comes Ron Charlton in that Turbo LS. Fox body for Canada. He's going to go up against this third gen LS power. Racing Turbo LS box body. Frank K is usually in his GTR, but today he's a hired, uh, hired gun. Pro Tech Racing right here. Change your pants, brother. Woo! Good save. Alright, here comes our boy Chris Pagolo in that supercharged coyote. This is a stick shift car and daily driver. You lost, but I mean that wheelie was absolutely insane. Yeah. Uh, what happened, man? You stayed in it? Were you fed? No, it? Yeah, going? if you look at the data log, I pedaled it six times, and just we put a new motor in it this morning, and it makes way more power than before. <laughs> so before oh, I pedal it once and it set down and then ride, and that was probably just the climbing. smoothest, like almost eighth mile wheelie I've ever right. seen. Like you were up there, nice and steady. You were kind of holding ahead of him for a uh -huh. little bit there. Uh, I was hoping you'd come down and, and win, but right. obviously... Uh, By the time I came down, he was probably like three cars or so ahead of me. And, yeah. You, you know, were looking I, at Sky the whole time. Right. I say it comes down <laughs> and I'm grabbing the scramble and trying to set it down easy. And before like I could even try and reel him in, we were already it was at the stripe. So yeah, yeah it was already over. <laughs> oh, but man. I've been up in the air 
a couple of times. So in this car? Yeah, I'm kind of used to. You can, you can feel it. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm used to riding it out, but like I said, usually it sets down really smooth. So just a new learning curve. Oh, you know, uh, you're gonna do second chance? Yeah, okay. I bought back into that and. Nice, this tune-up, nice. I'm not going to make any promises, but it shouldn't do a wheelie. <laughs> Calm it down like, a little bit? Yeah, or? the anti-wheelie measure in it. So yeah, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. It could. I, it might still do one. I have no idea. But yeah, we're going to try not to because well, we don't win. You still got a little rusty in it over there, right? Mm -hmm. So a uh, little rusty moving a second uh, second round in yep. Coco Posada, is that it? Yep. Yeah, Poco, yep. Okay. All, right, all right, good luck in uh, second chance, Thanks. buddy. That was a sick wheelie. I appreciate right. it. Pretty have good. a good one. <laughs> All right, Trevor going to second round in the uh, LS powered Nissan uh, Silvia here. Really uh, how was the track, man? How are you getting down? Uh, it's pretty good. It spun a little bit. It's not normal for me. so. You were early good. in the run order, too. so. Uh, it's 14th there, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, they did move the starting line back, so that's the first time I raced here when they moved the starting line back. How is it uh, with the starting line moved? It was a little greasy. I think it's going to get better. Okay, yeah. okay. Put a little um, more in it this time, maybe stay on the tire. You think it'll hold more? Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, so, okay. Uh, Give me a quick rundown of your setup real quick. Uh, it's a 5.3, belt bottom end, uh, true north uh, turbos, 88 millimeter. Um, TH400 with an automatic transmission design converter. So, you tune this car, you own TC Tune, right? Yes, sir. So tell me about TC Tune, what is this? Uh, Basically just tune cars all over the world. And that's what you do for a living? Yeah, remote tuning, in-person tuning, dyno track, all that stuff. Do you have a website? I do, it's uh, tctune.ca. <laughs> .ca, everybody, tctune.ca. .ca. Yeah. So uh, I can, so if I have an LS turbo build or something like that, I can... Honestly, uh, anything small block four, big block Chevy, LS, VR6, 2J, I do a lot Imports of stuff. Imports too, right? Yeah. Okay. Mostly standalone ECUs, I don't do many uh, OEM ECU stuff, but... Uh, is everything, uh, like price-wise, is everything custom to the job? Uh, it depends on what it is. Yeah. Like if it's Holly Fuel Tech, it's, I try to keep it all the same. Okay. Do you offer remote tuning? Yeah, that's my majority of my business, remote tuning. Nice, all right. Yeah. So uh, Trevor at uh, tctune.ca, check him out. And uh, if you need somebody to tune your shit, you know, he's going around and a lot of the cars that are here. It's getting better, man. There's a lot of shit to learn. Oh, Sorry, absolutely. Friends, absolutely. No, no, no. Yeah. So I'm learning every day. I mean, there's, when you think you know lots, there's always more to learn. Always so, more to learn. That's yeah. good. Yeah. All right, brother. Well, good luck second round small tire. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Have a good one. All right, Frank out here changing front tires. Pop two fronts in that amazing save you had earlier. These guys are uh, putting in a couple of used tires in there. Get her back on the old uh, LS Mustang here. guys are going to change tires real quick, back on the car, and Frank's uh, good to go for second round. Hey, change your pants, you good? Everything all right? Excellent. Buddy. Awesome save, man. Done. Well done, well done. Good Thanks, job. Thanks, man. Awesome. Chris. Yeah, get my hat on. <laughs> Got me looking good when I'm getting my interview, right? So. <laughs> First win in Milan, buddy. Yeah. Uh, first round jitters are gone. How are you feeling? Good, man. Good. Yeah. It worked. It worked really well. That was actually the fastest pass that this car has made this year. So, really? So really? good start. Good start for the day. How's the track? Good. No, I don't think it's fun at all. Mm -hmm. I know you were videoing, but I don't think anyone had any cameras out there to, to verify, but it didn't feel like it was spinning. So nice. it felt like it pretty much uh, dead hook for me. Good. Made yeah. every gear, and like I said, the fastest pass it's made this year so far. So uh, Give us a quick uh, rundown of your... Uh, Daily driver setup here. This is a stick shift car, and you're running daily. Let's uh, yeah, not stick shift. That. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, so it's got a Coyote in it, of course, but it's a Gen 3 Coyote with Gen 2 heads, all stock internals. Uh, it's got a TVS 2.3 TVS on it on E85, tuned by Lund Racing. All the suspension's done, BMR, biking. That's kind of uh, the basics. It's still stock MT82 as well, so oh, shit. <laughs> which is surprising that she's holding up. That's good, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you're rolling gears out there, man. You're looking good. Oh yeah, I'm. Uh, Throwing gears for the rest of this guy. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> First round. <laughs> All right. Good luck second round, yeah. brother. Good job. Yeah, thanks, Ben. All right. Ryan Murphy. Hey. Speaking of daily driver, Ryan Murphy out here going around. Well, one round at least. One round anyway. Uh, how's the car running today? How's it? Good. good. Yeah? Seems to be good. Yeah. Track working out for you? 
Yeah, it seems to be. Would you say it's stickier today? From last moved, time I was here? They moved the starting line closer to the burnout box. I'd say it's a little more tricky. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. For sure. Yeah, it would, definitely. So, give me a give me a quick rundown of the uh, setup of the Camaro. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, it's still a small block Chevy. Um, yeah. One kit. You know. Iron heads. Yeah, iron heads, nothing special. <laughs> Legit, eh? Yeah. You drive this to the track all the time, so oh, I mean, yeah. it's for sure a street car. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Uh, two Canadians out here in their actual street cars running daily driver going yeah. on to second round. Hopefully, we can avoid each other and you know, go race Hopefully, the Hopefully, yeah. Don't race them, okay? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> all right, good luck next round. All right, thanks a lot. Brother, you ready? You gonna get it? Gonna try. <laughs> yeah, definitely try. Hell yeah. So many killers left in the competition. It just keeps going on and on and on. Alright, this is Detroit Hood TV's PYOP round two of small tire coming up right now.
Gary Lane, moving on. Here comes our favorite cyclone, four-wheel drive. This thing is rowdy. Still got the LS in it. About a four-wheel drive burnout right here. Check it out, guys. Box body, move it up. Yeah. 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 
Ooh. taking over the wind and the all wheel drive blast. Grab the hip. All right, get ready, guys, for the third round. Small tire. Got something like nine pairs left. Everybody's getting ready here. Waji's still in it. Frank's still in it. Justin's still in it. The MR2 still in it. Trevor's still in it. Everybody's getting paired up right now. We got twenty thousand dollars on the line. Twenty thousand two hundred dollars is the pot plus a wally. These guys are getting a wally on top.
Justin, Tangerine Dream. LS Fox Body going up against this Drag Week Wagon. Volvo. To get down all day. Speaking race for Justin.
up with my gut, eh? Yeah. All right, Jake, going to the fourth round of small tire yeah. in this rowdy cyclone truck. Uh, <laughs> we did go over it uh, a couple of videos ago. Yep. Um, it is an LS, right? Yep. Still the a, same LS? Yep. Uh, is, what's it 5.3 or a 6? It? It's a 6.6. Six. It's actually oh. a Gen 5 block with LS okay. heads. So, so it's, it's, a, a, it's a big LS. Yep, it's um, a 416. Single turbo, yep. same as before, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you're running a different size tire today? Yeah, went to the 28s, which is what we used to run a lot. Ah, uh, okay. Because it's the World Series of No Prep event, their right. rule is you're allowed to run all wheel drive. Yeah. So you, you put the big tires on, yeah. well, the 28s on, anyways, yeah. instead of the 26s. So how's the track today, man? Because they moved that start line. It's pretty, pretty sticky out there. Yeah, it's very sticky. Are you, uh, have you turned it up since like the last event? Yep, I've been turning it up every pass. It's been the fastest so far yeah. tonight for the three times we've been here. Well, last round you took a Wajdi in that uh, twin turbo small block yeah. chassis car. That's, the, I mean, he's one of the fastest yeah, guys up north. Right so <laughs> you, uh, you definitely drove that truck too. That was yeah. a pretty entertaining pass. But uh, so what's, what's next in the next round? Who do you got? You got Sherman, right? Yep. Yeah, I got that really nice green Chevelle. Yeah, he's been getting down too. Yeah, looks like a real nice engine in there too. <laughs> what do you think, you gonna turn it up a little bit for him? Yeah, probably gonna turn it up some more. This is my first time in the left lane. The past three times we've been here, he's never got left. It's been lane. the right lane all the time yeah, for you, you're right. So it's kind of weird, but yeah. First time in the left, so you don't really have much data. No. Nope. I'm yeah. assuming it'll be pretty close to the same, but... You know what, it's really sticky on both sides out yeah. there, so I think the track will take what you throw at it. Yeah. All right, brother, well, good luck in the uh, next round small tire, right? Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Fourth round of small tire. $20,000 payout and a Wally on the line. Left lane, Cyclone. Trucks been rowdy all night. Let's see if he has enough for him.
Great lean. Johnny Quick, we like Johnny over Kendall. You like Johnny, huh? And then the Cyclone, or what is it? Cyclone, right? Yeah, he's got a buy. He's so got he's... the buy. That's a fast car to get the buy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. To be honest. He's been moving. And he's honestly upset probably three, four races that I bet on tonight. That's true, man. That's true. Last time he was here, well, he made a couple rounds, right? A couple of rounds. He went to the third round, I think. So, I mean, what, the second time here? Consistency's getting there. You gonna make some money I off did... that guy or what? I've been honestly betting against him today. I didn't think you'd get this far. <laughs> so you're losing money. I have been, at least on the truck. At least on the truck. All right. All right. We're still up, though. All right, we like the Volvo in the first pair here. This is your uh, fifth round, small tire. Out your 70 cars. 20 grand and a Wally on the line. First pair is the Volvo. All right, here you go. Small tire, 20 grand on the line, let's do it. Quick taking it. 
All right, the cyclone gets a buy, so he's just going to take it easy and save it for the next round. but this is the hard tire final right here. Tire final. All right, this is the small tire semi final right here. Because John Quick and the Cyclone already had the buy, you can't get the buy twice. The Volvo is going to get the buy. So we're going to see the Cyclone, four wheel drive Cyclone racing. John Quick, semi final. Taking the win, the right lane. All right, Volvo's gonna get the fly. He's probably just gonna break the beam. Yeah. So he's gonna get free pass to the finals to pay John Quick for twenty thousand dollars in a Wally for a BYOB. Second chance, semi final, four cards left.
that's your daily driver finalist. All right, guys. So uh, John Quick uh, broke his motor. He snapped a rod or something. So uh, the Volvo is going to get a competition by here in the finals. So that is your $20,000 and Wally winner for today. Congratulations, buddy. Okay, guys, we still have some excitement for the end of the video here. This is the small tire second chance final. Mac TV, that twin turbo truck going up against Enrique in this twin turbo Corvette. So, we're still going to have a barn burner final here at PYOP. We go second chance finals. Ha, ha, ha.